why we hear RGB everywhere? What is this RGB space? How we create colors? There are a lot of questions like this regarding RGB or regarding color creation or representation. This is Vahid from CNL. In CNL, we present some stories, some facts, some courses. If you like the video, share it to your friends, subscribe and like this video. Okay. Okay, so uh, we did a bunch of videos and we talked about how uh, human understands colors, what uh, color cells we have in our eyes and how we understand color. Also, we talked how we can measure colors precisely. And today we want to talk about, so, by all this information that we have, and we could measure the colors, how we can reproduce colors, how we can compare colors, how we can understand colors uh, um, digitally uh, for comparison, for recreation, for reproduction. So, you have heard RGB everywhere and this model has been used, uh, maybe you have seen that somewhere in university, in a school, uh, and you ha they have talked about it. But what is this RGB uh, color space? Actually, there are color spaces, like uh, uh, lookup tables that by mixing red and green and blue, you will uh, produce a new color that maybe it is yellow, maybe it is something else. But the combination of these three uh, values can give you an unlimited uh, bunch of colors. So RGB color space is a space that contains all these colors and you can choose your color and you can uh, create it and you can represent it to other people to other industries okay so you need color spaces for example rgb color space you have uh, a cubic space that has a three axes okay and if you consider each axis from 0 to 255 so if we are in zero, 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 that are the three colors are zero and we don't have any colors. So you may predict that we will have black. And if we have uh, all the colors in the highest degree and purity, for example, 255 red, 255 green, 255 blue. So you uh, will know that we will have white. All other colors are created in this cubic and inside this cube. But um, RGB color space is famous, okay, and it has some advantages and disadvantages. But there are other color spaces that provide you also so other advantages. However, uh, there are other color spaces based on RGB also. For example, uh, sRGB uh, is kind of a correction and a modification of RGB color space. And uh, it is now widely used for uh, the images on the web, on the internet. There's another color space that uh, is called HSV. HSV actually is a derivative uh, as a modification of RGB, okay? But it represents uh, um, other information. It represents color in, in a different way, okay? Again, we have three values, okay? H, U, S, saturation, and V value. We have three uh, values or three coordinates. And by combination of them, again, you create colors. But here, you have just one, one layer specifically for color by the meaning of hue. In this case, 
in the scholar space, you can uh, represent purity of a color much better. You can represent saturation, that how much a color is uh, saturated and is pure. And you can uh, express, and you have one layer of information uh, as value, how much you are far from black or how much you are close to white. However, uh, the story is not uh, still finished and there are still uh, other color spaces. For example, CMYK is a color space that is used for printing. Because in printing, you uh, need to use inks. And now, if you imagine that you have all the colors uh, and you uh, throw all the colors on the paper, you will not have white because they are absorbing energy, absorbing the light. For example, if you pour red and green and blue together, they absorb red and green and blue light, so they produce black. CMYK has a layer that is CN has one layer of magenta and one layer of yellow and K stands for black well maybe you think that K should be the beginning of the word to something like club no it's for black not to be mixed with blue so we use also black because it is much cheaper to use a black ink instead of mixing uh, magenta and cyan and yellow together. However, uh, they still tried to produce better color spaces, stronger color spaces. For example, CIE produced CIE XYZ that is uh, kind of the the best the strongest and the most precise way to represent colors and one thing important about CIXYZ is that uh, whenever you measure a color you can express it to anybody else anywhere else in the world and it is a standard that everybody understands it in the same way while this is not the case for example for RGB because RGB is device dependent and it, it is different f from this device to that device from a monitor to a scanner to a printer in this case you have CIE XYZ that mostly in industry they use it and it looks like uh, normally you represent it uh, as a 2D uh, color space that contains all the colors that you can imagine and it is like a shoe horse so it is famous for sh uh, shoe horse diagram or chromaticity diagram however still they moved toward the color spaces that are closer to human understanding of color and for example there's CIE LAB that is quite precise quite famous for color reproduction also and with a little bit of artistic point of view to the colors however uh, CIE LAB uh, has a different uh, 3D representation so you can imagine uh, an axis uh, of L uh, that is uh, luminosity and two other axes that cross each other one of them yellow blue and one of them red green axes so all these color spaces have some advantages some disadvantages this was just a short introduction to them and color spaces are not limited to this list 
I just represented the most famous and uh, the most uh, used color spaces in, uh, in the industry in the world, but you can have a search, you can uh, take a look at other uh, color spaces and enjoy it, and this is quite interesting. So I hope that you liked the video. Uh, I will see you soon in the next video.